All right, here we go. Day four, daily football talks. Yesterday, I talked a little bit about uh, my experience with uh, do good players outweigh good coaching or great coaching. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about Gio Reyna. Just fired his agent, went with his dad for a little bit. Now he's going to Jorge Mendez. I think that's a great hire for him. You know, Jorge Mendez probably has the best client list in, in football right now. Uh, I, I think Gio Reyna is probably the most talented player in the United States pool. It's cool that uh, he is a – his dad is a U, United States soccer legend. I think that's awesome. You know, it comes with some baggage from the things that his dad did with the current United States coach. Um, I hope Gio gets the move. I hope he gets a lot of playing time wherever he goes. Uh, if it's to a, a lower op, a lower team than he currently is right, right now at Dorman, I just want him to play. That's all I want. I love Gio Reyna, and that's my little bit of, of world football talking today. So here we go, day four. Um, it, the question I'm asking is, you know, as a coach, we're always trying to achieve this golden ticket, and I, the golden ticket to me is, is this knowledge of this everlasting knowledge of knowing everything in the game and being able to talk about the game. In a sense where if someone asks you a question, you can explain it in 30 seconds or less and 30 seconds or less and they can understand it fully. Uh, so this is my 40th month of really doing this and really putting my life into this and my all my time and, and an effort. And I, I don't think I'm anywhere close. The one thing that I do think that I've achieved over these 40 months is during the games when I'm talking to the players and I'm on the touchline, if I see something that I can say it and it makes perfect sense to the players. Now, when I have to think about what I want to say, and it's not just coming straight from my brain, and I actually have to think, I struggle. So in these videos, I struggle a bit because I have to think about what I want to say and I sound sometimes like a complete idiot and it sometimes just doesn't make sense. But when I'm out there and I see what I see, I know what to say in those circumstances. So I don't know if I've achieved the, the golden ticket yet, but I'm on the way. So the question is, how long do you think it takes to achieve this golden ticket of having all this knowledge? And you know, I don't know. <laughs> I, I always answer the questions with I don't know. And you know, I know what I know and I know what I don't know. Um, but the more that I dive into the game and the more I try to learn is I feel like the less that I know. And I feel like that can be said for a lot of different things. You know, for these doctors, they're like, okay, I know I'm pretty smart. Then I go to med school, I don't know anything. That's kind of how it is with soccer. Um, the more and more and more I dive in, it's like the less I know, okay? But maybe I'm just getting, uh, maybe I'm trying to dive into the fine details and if you ask me a question about something then I could give you an overall synopsis of it but if you wanted the real cracking details then that's where I struggle um, all these great coaches are defined by the little details uh, if it's and and that's something that's hard in this this area that I'm in right now is that you know these players play uh, different sports they're not fully committed to just football uh, you know, they play baseball, they play basketball, uh, they play football, the American football. So it's tough to, to try to get these details across and achieve this golden ticket. Do I think I'm going to get there? Yes, I do. Um, we talked about obsession versus passion. The more I'm doing these videos, it's the more I have to dive in and actually know what I'm talking about. So it's actually helping me become obsessed I'm not there yet. It's only the fourth day, but I'm diving into stuff like I haven't yet, and I'm enjoying it, um, and it's creating this obsession. I'm not fully obsessed, but I'm enjoying what I'm doing right now. Um, so when do you reach the golden ticket? When do you get this golden ticket of, of knowing what sessions to do to make the team, to make your team play the way you want, and knowing what to say in the team's talk? that gets the boys fired up without sounding like a complete moron. Um, knowing what in-game in adjustments to make based on what you see. I, I think it just comes with time and experience. 
you know, I was thinking about it. I think I've coached over 250 soccer games in these 40 months I've I've been been coaching. I've seen a lot of football. I'm at the soccer field every single day. You know, so you would think, okay, yeah, Keelan, hopefully you would learn. Yep, you're right. I hope I would learn, and I think I am. Um, if I had to give you out of one, zero to a hundred percent on my way to f- fulfilling this golden ticket, having the Willy Wonka chocolate bar, I think I'm at twenty-seven percent um, that I can be here in America. Um, uh, I, I think I'm taking the right steps. I hope I'm taking the right steps. I think I'm doing what's best for myself. I'm surrounding myself by a lot of good coaches. I'm putting myself out there. I'm trying to learn. I'm learning what to do. I'm learning also what not to do. You know, you take what you like from coaches and you weed out the bad. And hopefully that makes the the best coach that you possibly can be. Um, So question, with anything in life, answer down below. How long does it take for you to be in your field to reach this golden ticket of having this everlasting knowledge of the field that you're in? I'm going to say 18 years of committing your life to it where you think you finally have enough knowledge to really, really, really talk about the circumstances that you're in. Day four, Gio Reyna. I hope Gio Reyna goes to... Somewhere in Spain, I think that suits his game. Somewhere in Spain, maybe Italy. Um, But hey, we'll talk about it more. Day four, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.